Hi everyone, this is Than from Tidal Gardens. Like most people that have been in the hobby for a really long time, it's always a great joy to see something truly rare. I was fortunate to pick up this pink carpet anemone a few months ago. Now, I've been a hobbyist now for about 20 years, I would say, and I can count on one hand how many times that I've even seen so much as a picture of these things. This one in particular is the only one that I've actually seen in person, and I just had to have it. I absolutely love its color, obviously. And to be honest, the tank that it's in doesn't even have the best lighting to show it off. Right now, it's under some really, really old fluorescent bulbs. And by really old, I mean probably three years old. And it would probably look much, much better under LEDs. Possibly my favorite thing about its color is that it has a blue base that can sometimes be seen when the carpet fully extends. When it contracts, it's solid pink. It's hard to get an idea of just how large this thing is, but like most other carpets, there's some degree of huge. So fully extended, this anemone is about 18 inches in diameter, and they can get quite a bit larger than that even. If you're looking to get into carpet anemones, there's a few things that you really should be aware of. First, the carpet is highly predatory, and its tank mates have to be chosen really carefully. To simplify things a bit, I would recommend only things that can actually host in the anemone, such as clownfish, sexy shrimp, or anemone crabs. Anything else is really flirting with a quick death. You may think that larger fish would be safe, but carpets are notorious for catching full-sized tangs even. It's really best to keep them in a system designed just for them. So their predatory nature is the first thing to really watch out for. The second issue with these anemones is the fact that they tend to move around occasionally. Now this can cause three major problems. The first of these problems is that they can trample over things that can't get out of the way like clams and corals. They have a strong sting, but their large foot is capable of shifting live rock and causing minor cavens. That's all, just cavens. Second, if you have pumps in the tank, anemones in general have a habit of finding them. Carpets are no different, so I try as much as possible to have a simple return from a sump and no exposed pumps or power heads for carpets to jump into. Last, and possibly worst of all, an anemone of this size can block and overflow entirely, causing the tank to flood. As much as I love this pink anemone, it has single-handedly caused three floods and have had to clean up some 100 gallon spills occasionally. Thanks for watching again, and if you haven't already, check us out on Facebook. Let me know what kind of rare fish and corals you're into.